Hey, what's up everybody? Um, it's the summer and a lot of people I know on YouTube are experiencing some warmer weather but I on the other hand live in the middle of nowhere in New York and the weather's been pretty much the same since the beginning of May. Uh, I'm not complaining though, it's, it's decent out. Anyway, um, every summer I watch the same movie and I basically consider it my favorite summer movie. And uh, a lot of you are probably thinking, I don't know, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, American Pie, uh, something to do with summer, but really, it has, the movie has nothing to do with summer. Um, I mean, it does take place in kind of like a spring setting, I guess, but uh, it has nothing to do with, uh, like, it's not a summer movie I'm watching, but I watch it every summer uh, out of habit because I've been doing this since I was like 10 or so. I've been watching this movie every summer. And that movie is The Burbs. And this is actually a Joe Dante directed movie. And it's one of his lesser known movies uh, because it's not horror, it's comedy. Uh, there, the th reason I like it though is that there are elements of horror in the comedy and it comes out really well. Um, now this is probably a film that Joe Dante probably doesn't even want anyone to know about. Uh, it didn't really do that well when it came out is what I'm gathering. Uh, I have the DVD here, there's like no special features whatsoever. Uh, it's just like, here's the DVD, we don't care about this movie. It's on DVD though, so why don't you go buy it. Um, it has Tom Hanks who I, you know, I could care less about. And there's some other characters, Corey Feldman's in it, um, Bruce Dern's in it, and Rick Ducumon's in it. I mean, these are just kind of like no-names. Also, Carrie Fisher's in it, but aside from that, it's mostly no-names plus Corey Feldman. Um, why do I like this movie? Basically... <laughs> Did you just hear my voice creak? That was pathetic. Basically, uh, I like it because it's so dark, but at the same time, it's a comedy. Uh, it's not a laugh out loud comedy, it's a Tom Hanks movie, so it's kind of one of those gentle comedies that really aren't that funny, but kind of have funny situations. But basically, to make a long story short, this is about a guy whose neighbors move out and they're replaced by these three guys who are from like Eastern Europe and he thinks they're murdering people. Um, it's actually really awesome. From the very beginning you see them digging in the backyard and that, I think that's like a crucial scene of the movie. It's a very awesome scene because the camera's angled down and it's a, kind of like a voyeuristic shot from his window, Tom Hanks's window to uh, the backyard of the neighbor's house and it's like raining out and you can just see them digging and they're just digging, uh, digging their backyard up and he thinks they're like burying bodies. And then another thing that happens is uh, every now and then there'll just be this huge electrical charge uh, coming from their house, this really ridiculously loud noise, and then it'll just stop. And uh, you know, this movie actually used to give me the creeps when I was uh, a young a young boy watching this because you know this is an experienced horror director uh, directing a comedy so there's still gonna be horror elements like I said before um, so he tries to basically the movie is him and his neighbors trying to find out what's going on with the neighbors and then when one of his other neighbors goes missing they're basically kind of like determined to figure out what's going on. Uh, he has a neighbor who's just like a goofball, kind of like a douchebag, idiot, Nimrod kind of guy. And then his other neighbor is like this uh, ex-veteran, kind of like quasi-psycho military person. And like they kind of band together to figure out what's going on. Um, 
it's a simple plot and another another thing that I don't know if it was um, subconscious of the writing but in the movie it's a cul-de-sac and uh, you know the main characters are so nosy and uh, I used to live near a cul-de-sac and the people who actually live in a cul-de-sac they're ridiculous they think they like the street that they lived on they thought that if you drove uh, say you had to make a turn I, I would make a turn onto their cul-de-sac so I could you know turn the other way and they just like be out on their friggin lawns giving me this dirty look and uh, you know they're very protective of their property and even the street and the road and you know this is this is uh, on a cul-de-sac and um, the same thing is going on like they're just completely nosy the whole time about their neighbors and what's going on with them um, anything bad about this movie um, Corey Feldman's in it I mean Corey Feldman in the 80s he's in like every movie so you kind of have to just deal with it uh, Corey Feldman's not really that annoying though he's kind of like a minor character you don't really see him that often so yeah so that's my review um, I would definitely recommend seeing this just don't expect like total horror and don't expect total comedy it's like since it's kind of a crossover it's kind of like light on both sides you're gonna get a little horror, you're gonna get a little comedy, but nothing that's gonna make you laugh out loud, and nothing that's really gonna make you uh, scared. Uh, well, if you're a big pussy, you'll probably get scared of this movie. So, as far as comedies go, Joe Dante really didn't do anything else after this movie except for the movie Matinee with John Goodman, which is another horror comedy crossover. And that movie was downright terrible. Um, I could see they were trying, and the story just wasn't there. Uh, but this movie is just pure 80s cheesiness, which I love. And I would definitely check it out. So that's my review for The Burbs. This is basically the only movie I watch in the summer over and over again. So thanks for watching, and have a good day.